Hey beauties, Zarya Shakir here back again with another faux locks tutorial. So this is just an updated and detailed faux locks routine. It's basically what my last faux locks video was not. And of course I just wanted to show you how I did my blue faux locks. So if you're interested in seeing how it's done, stay tuned and keep on watching. So starting out, I'm just parting the front of my hair down the middle. The front of my hair will be mainly triangular shapes, so I'm just showing you how I part the two front pieces. So once I have my triangles parted, I take my Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Perfect Edges and just add this to the perimeter of each part. Then I take my comb and smooth out the parted section so it can be kind of sleek. After I do that, I smooth the edge control into the section with my fingers and apply more where needed, repeating those same steps until I'm ready for the braid. And before starting the braid, make sure each section is detangled. Now for the braid, it's the same as you saw in my purple faux locks video, but this time I'm not adding any other braiding hair because I wanted these locks to be the same length as my natural hair. And whenever you're braiding for your faux locks, always make sure you're starting the braid in the direction you want the faux lock to fall. So for the front ones, I'm braiding downward towards my face so they will fall that way. I'm doing these locks on freshly washed and conditioned hair, but I let it air dry overnight so it's still damp as I'm braiding. Now for moisture, same as before, I'm taking my extra virgin olive oil and adding it to my scalp, then working it into the small section. Then I'm just repeating the edge control steps before I start the braid. You can do the olive oil part before or after you finished one braid, for the front, I prefer to do it afterwards so it doesn't cause the edge control to get oily when trying to slick down the hair, but on camera I did it beforehand just to show how I moisturized the section before braiding, but it's up to you. So this is what the front looks like. I was supposed to be going on a food run here, so I put my hair in a bun. But that got postponed, so I was able to show what the front looks like before finishing the rest. Moving on to the last braid, I oiled and edge controlled the section before starting. And since I want that braid to fall to the back, you see me starting it off in that direction first before pulling it to the side so I can finish braiding it down. Here are my finished braids. I have a total of 36 this time and the parts are small to medium. They look so smooth and sleek, so I'm pleased with them. The hair I'm using will be Jamaica Braid Premium Fiber Hair by Bobby Boss, and the color I'm using is T1B Blue. This hair I got from my local beauty supply store. Like always, you must lightly brush the hair out first before installing. This is an important step in doing wrapped faux locks. It's basically to give your braids more coverage when wrapping. Next, I'm twisting the Jamaica braid hair at the end. Then I loop it once around my index finger so it's easier to put it into the crochet needle before installing. Now, of course, I'm taking my crochet needle and sticking it through the top of the braid, adding the Jamaica braid hair to the hook, closing the latch, and simply pulling it through. Then I slightly pull the hair so one side is fairly short and the other is long. Once I do that, it's time to start wrapping. 
Now you want to wrap the hair around the root of the braid about three to five times or until it's fully covered, but you don't want to wrap it too many times as it will become too tight and will not be able to move until your hair starts growing. Then you just start wrapping the hair down the braid, making sure you're not twisting it as you go. And you also want to make sure you're making the braid invisible so when you wrap, you want to make sure each time you go around, you're covering the braiding hair as well as your hair. Then once we reach the end of the braiding hair, what you can do to secure it is by tying a knot. And I'm just showing you how to do it here. I create a loop around my thumb and index finger as I wrap the ending piece around again. Then grabbing the hair with those two fingers, pulling the hair through to create the knot. You'll see me do the knot again later. Taking more of the blue hair to finish wrapping the braid, again I start with the shorter side of the braiding hair and start wrapping upwards first before wrapping downward. This is basically how you make the two pieces of hair seamless. This hair I use here is different from the hair with my purple locks. Jamaica braid hair is much smoother than Marley hair and it gives it a more shinier finish, which for this color I have no problem having a shinier finish. Also, this blue was the blue I have been looking for anyway, so I was very happy when I saw it. The purple ombre Marley hair I bought last time also had a blue version, but I didn't like how the ends were because it was just too light of a blue. Now I've reached the end of the braid, so I'm just taking the braiding hair and wrapping it back up before tying the knot to end it. Then of course, I'm just rubbing it between my hands and there you have it. So I'm gonna quickly show you again with my last braid. I take the crochet needle and stick it through the root of the braid. Then I take the brushed out Jamaica braiding hair and add it to the hook, close the latch and pull it through. Then sliding the blue hair so one side is fairly short and the other is long and then start wrapping. Again, cover the root, but don't make it too tight or it won't be able to move. When you get to the end of the braiding hair, tie a knot and wrap more hair. I finished the ending of this one off camera. This is what it looks like after I've finished. The video is not over, so don't go anywhere. I was just trying to get a feel of the locks and my face probably tells it all that I really wasn't feeling them. And of course they were bulky looking, but I knew I still needed to dip them in boiling hot water and add accessories. So this is one side dipped in the water. And this is the side that wasn't. Now all of my hair has been dipped and it's way more swingable, so this is how you get your faux locks to swing. Now you can see me feeling myself because they're looking like I want them, and as you can see they're not hard and bulky anymore. Lastly comes the hair jewelry. I'm using these gold accessories and then you'll see me adding the gold string to a few locks. You can purchase this gold string from your beauty supply store. I had the long gold strings from my last locks, so they were bought. But luckily for me, the blue braiding hair actually came with shorter pieces of the gold string. You know how most hair comes with rubber bands? Well, yeah, this came with gold string, so I didn't need to buy anymore, which was a plus for me. And here you guys have it. I love, love, love how these blue faux locks turn out. I'll only be wearing them in styles, so you won't ever see me wearing them down because with the blue, they always need to be spiced up. But thank you guys for watching and hit the thumbs up button if you loved how they turned out too. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please click the bell to be notified the next time I drop some fire. My next videos will be makeup until these locks come out, so please show those videos some love. You won't be disappointed.
Bye.